So here I wanted to talk about the difference between the Pi Data Archive and the Pi Asset Framework, which is common source of confusion. These two concepts work together, uh, and it's actually kind of unique to the Pi system. Uh, the Pi Data Archive is essentially the raw historian uh, layer of the Pi system. So it's the real time data storage uh, feature that stores data, right, in what is called Pi points or Pi tags that each have a timestamp and value associated with them. So it makes it, you know, time series data, just like the Viva Historian. It can store data uh, with both historical and future timestamps, which is pretty cool. And I believe that it can read up to 2 million events per second and even write up to 200,000 events per second. So it's a very powerful and high performance historian. And that's the data archive aspect of the Pi server. Uh, so you can see on the left of the image here that you have a Pi interface, um, or it could also be a Pi connector or Pi adapter, like I mentioned earlier. And what it does is it collects data from the data source and stores it inside of the Pi data archive. So these are the raw streams of data that aren't necessarily organized. They're just tags that are labeled according to how they're defined by the source and the Pi interface configuration process. And the Pi asset framework, which is also known as AF, right, is essentially a tool that is layered on top of the Pi data archive, and it lets you create data structures that you know, provide the context to the raw data that's inside of your Pi data archive. So you can use the asset framework to define assets with specific attributes and relate them together using you know parent and child relationships uh, you can see that on the af hierarchy tree that's on the right side so you have the element tree that shows these assets and the parent child relationships that they have between them as they're defined inside the asset framework you can actually save these data structures as templates and reapply them to new data stream groups uh, to save time and and effort in your deployment so this is very similar to the system platform workflow, right, where you have templates and you can associate certain attributes to those templates and then derive instances from them to, you know, quickly scale up um, your framework, right, without having to create them all from scratch. Uh, 